Nikolai Glushkov, Wikipedia article audio. Nikolai Alexsevich Glushkov was a Russian businessman who was the deputy director of Aeroflot and a finance manager of Avtovaz. After claiming that Russian Aeroflot company worked as a cash cow to support international spying operations, he was arrested and tried in Russia on the allegation of channeling Aeroflot money through another company in 1999. He was convicted and released in 2004, after serving three years. He emigrated to the UK in 2010 and received a political asylum. In 2017 he was convicted in absentia in Russia for allegedly stealing money from Aeroflot, but his extradition from Britain had been denied. Initially treated as unexplained, his death is being investigated by the Metropolitan Police who are now treating it as a murder inquiry. Biography Early Life His Aeroflot Job, Arrests trials, and convictions. Emigration to UK and extradition request. Death In 1972, Nikolai Glushkov graduated from the Moscow People's Friendship University with a degree in physics. In 1981, he completed the Academy of Foreign Trade with a degree in economics. Glushkov had been Avtovaz's finance chief until he left his job in autumn 1995 and was appointed as Deputy General Director of Aeroflot on request from Yevgeny Shapishnikov in February 1996. According to Alexander Goldfarb, he found that the airline company worked as a cash cow to support international spying operations. 3,000 people out of the total workforce of 14,000 in Aeroflot were FSB, SVR, or GRU officers. All proceeds from ticket sales were distributed to 352 foreign bank accounts that could not be controlled by the Aeroflot administration. Glushkov closed all these accounts and channeled the money to Swiss company called Andeva in Switzerland. He also sent a bill and wrote a letter to SVR Director Yevgeny Primakov and FSB Director Mikhail Barsukov, asking them to pay the salaries of their intelligence officers in Aeroflot in 1996. Both Glushkov and Berezovsky were the main shareholders of Andeva at that time. Glushkov was arrested in December 2000 by Russian law enforcers and charged with channeling money through his accounting center Andeva. He was a business partner and close friend of Boris Berezovsky, who from November 2000 resided in Britain. Berezovsky had to give up his ownership of the Ord TV channel transferred them to Roman Abramovich S. Subneft in exchange for the promise to release Glushkov which was not fulfilled. In April 2001 Andriy Lugovoy organized an escape of Glushkov from a hospital where he was kept by authorities. According to Glushkov, that was a setup by FSB. He had no intention to escape and was walking in his slippers to the hospital gate to go home for the night, with his guard's knowledge, as he had done a few days earlier. During his trial, Glushkov was incarcerated in Lefortovo prison. He was cleared of the original fraud and money laundering charges by the court in March 2004, but found guilty of attempted escape and abuse of authority and sentenced to three years and three months of imprisonment. Glushkov was released in the courtroom, since he had already served his sentence in the pre-trial detention center. However, the Moscow City Court rejected the verdict and returned the case for new consideration. In 2006, the Savilovsky District Court terminated the prosecution of Glushkov, but gave him a two years of suspended sentence. Glushkov emigrated to the UK and received political asylum in 2010. Russian state resumed his criminal prosecution.
In 2017, during a trial in absentia in Russia, Glushkov was sentenced to eight years in prison for allegedly stealing $123 million from Aeroflot. The UK refused to extradite him to Russia. On March 13, 2018, friends of Glushkov revealed that he had been found dead the night before in his home in New Malden, London. His death was initially treated by police as unexplained. His death came a week after the poisoning of Sergei and Yulia Skripal in Salisbury, which along with his reputation as a critic of the Putin government, was said to be the reason for putting the Counter-Terrorism Command in charge of the investigation. Glushkov reportedly feared being on Putin's hit list and expected to be a likely target. During the subsequent post-mortem his body was found to have marks consistent with strangulation on the neck. On March 16, 2018, the Metropolitan Police stated they were now treating his death as murder. However, they stated that at this stage there is nothing to suggest any link to the attempted murders in Salisbury.